Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about a process offered by Yocto known as OE Runmake. So what we are going to cover in this video? First of all, we are going to cover what is OE Runmake, then why to use it, how to use it, then we will see a C program example and then we will compile the C program using OE Runmake and then we will compile and install the C program using OE Runmake with the help of a make file. So let us begin with the first question. So uh, Yocto is uh, often used uh, for uh, cross, compi uh, cross compilation for the files and for that we use OE Runmake. So OE Runmake is a function used by Yocto project recipes uh, usually used with uh, do compile task uh, to invoke the make command with specific arguments and parameters. So it is a part of Yocto build system and often used for building software components within Yocto recipe. So this function helps uh, in making the build process more adaptable with Yocto. But why do we need it? So Yocto is often used for cross compilation as we know and uh, OE Runmake uh, is uh, familiar with the Yocto variable. So Yocto used several environment variables like work dir, st and furthermore, uh, furthermore variables. So to manage the build process using these variables so OE Runmake ensures uh, the usage of these variables properly and the appropriate build output. How to use it? So to use OE Runmake, uh, usually the OE Runmake uh, is uh, used in to compile, but it can be also used in other places. So let us see this with an example. So first of all, I have an other recipe called Advanced Calculator ADV Calculator. It has an advanced mathlib and advanced calculator.c file. So in the mathlib we have add, subtract and multiply and in calculator we are using all three of them. So here is my calculator, uh, my mathlib and here is my calculator. So we are giving the hard coded uh, values to make it to keep it simple 55 and 9. Now let us look at the recipe. First of all I have a simple recipe and we are compiling the recipe using the traditional compilation process. First of all we compile uh, the mathlib advanced mathlib and get the object file and compile the advanced calculator and get the object file and then merge both of them together together both of the object file to get the calculator so first of all let us compile this and see what happens so as you can see that the file has compiled successfully without any error but as here is a lot to write so we have written here like three lines and this is a lot maybe th this is a simple program but the program can be more complicated and more complex and we can have multiple libraries so this is not the most efficient way to do it so let us check how to do this with simple OE Runmake let me comment this out and let me go down here and just put it up here and let us uncomment this so as you can see this is a simple syntax we just add oe underscore run make and the add calculator this is our add calculator file this one and it has the main inside it so we put add calculator because we know we need the output for the add calculator so we just write here add calculator same name but without dot c extension and now let us make it clean first of all so 
is now clean and now let us compile this once more so as you can see that this time I've got an error let me check why do I have an error so after debugging I found out why I was getting the error the problem is that here in OE run make we only give advanced calculator it doesn't know that from where to get those addition multiplication and subtraction function so they were not there so what I did right now just to test is added the addish, add subtract and multiply function in the same advanced sort calculator advanced uh, dash calculator dot c file now let us build this once more it's being built so this time uh, the file has been compiled successfully and the image has been built but it doesn't seem like uh, very much useful to use OE run make in this case so the main power the main use of OE run make is that it can compile a make file it can use a make file and use it to compile the code so to do this what we need to do is we just have to put here OE run make and here with our src uri we also need to add this file make file just like that and how I build the make file so here is the make file the make file in make file as you can see that we have given the compiler as dollar cc and the cflex as dollar cflex but these are here are actually the variable from Yocto they have nothing to do with the CC and Cflex but from Yocto it means that OE run make is aware of C uh, of Yocto variables then same is the simple make file I am not going in detail because uh, it is not the scope of this video maybe we can check this later but right now it is simple compiling the file our calculator advanced calculator file so let us put it here we run make let us make it clean first okay some error let me fix it first some parsing error yeah I find I found out it was this uh, backslash it must be here otherwise it will not pass and go to the next line so I put it here and now clean a state and let us build it once again and see what happens This time we also have an error. Check once more. So the error was due to the functions that we added in advanced calculator because now they were duplicating and that's why there was an error. So I removed it those functions from this file and now let us build this once again. Yeah, it's clear state and now that so as you can see that this time the recipe has been built successfully without an error. The binary 
file that we get at the output after the compilation that we are copying or installing in bin.dir but this step also can be replaced with oe run make if we have oe run make we can replace this also if we look at our make file here you can see that I have an install process so if I, what what is doing that it is installing this, this destination it's creating this folder and then it is installing the target our advanced calculator target to the destination this bin in, in the destination but how do we do that let us see this so first of all let me comment this and let me just copy this to our image so we can also invoke some process that we have in our make file so in make file we have install and here as you can see that install needs destination dir and bin dir so we can give those as an input here explicitly and oe run make understands them and substitute them into the make file so it's the destination is our destination folder that we simply used here and this bin dir is simple our bin dir that we use here these names have nothing to do with these it can be anything but it should match the names in our make file so now let us clean it up once more and check this one more last time that how can we also install the files or the final binary using we run make so now I am running it once more so this time also it has also built the image successfully now let us test the image so before we test the image uh, I forgot to tell you people that when I run the core image full command line so this advanced calculator is also is already been added to local.conf that's why it is inside the image otherwise it will not build so this is the point that I forgot to t tell you so now I have uh, done my setup and I am inside this beagle one black yocto image and let us run advanced calculator and you see that the advanced calculator the addition is 64 the subtraction is 46 and the multiplication is 495 as our input here was 55 and 9 we can verify this also and now let us check the location where is this advanced uh, calculator for that I'm using command which and if I do then it is in user bin advanced calculator so this bin dir is actually user bin so I hope you like the video please like this video and subscribe my channel and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching